In this video, I'll be showing how you can add yourself or someone else to an Unreal Engine scene. There's a few different ways to do this, but this is the method that I've found I use the most. In this example, I'm using a green screen video that I found on YouTube, but you can obviously make your own. Um, green screen fabric's pretty cheap. For this video, I'm using the ArchViz interior, which is free. If you go to the Epic Games Unreal Engine Learn section, before going into Unreal, you'll want to make an image sequence. You can create one in Premiere Pro or After Effects, and there's also websites where you can automatically convert video to image sequences. So first of all, you want to right click in a pre-made folder and go to media, image media source, and we'll call this one person. Open that up and then direct it to the folder where you created your image sequence. And just double click the first one. Save that. Then right click, media, media texture. I'll call this person one. Right click that and create material. Now we open up the material. So go from RGB to MF chroma key. and then drag opacity to opacity mask. It is grayed out at the moment, so you want to change the mode to masked. Then drag from RGB to multiply. Drag multiply to emissive color. Then hold down one and click to create constant. Drag that to B in the multiply. And that's that pretty much set up. Now we want to create a plane or some object where we want the video to be projected. And now if you drag the material onto the plane, there's nothing there. So next thing we need to do is create a level sequence. We'll just call this person one as well. And then click track, media track, and then click media. Find the person image sequence, and then right click properties, and find the person one texture. And now we have the video but obviously it's still got the green and it needs to be correctly turned around. So the next thing we need to do is create an instance. So right click on the material and create an instance. And then if we click in the key color, click it and select the dropper tool and click on the material to get that color and it should remove the green. You, you probably will still need to adjust some parts. So just play around with that until you get it looking right. And now if you drag that onto the plane, we have just the figure without the green. Now you'll want to move it around um, and resize it based on, in this case, the furniture. You'd probably want to 
get it so it matches so she doesn't look like a giant. Now at the moment the material is set to default lit, but I'm going to change it to unlit. Depends on the project, but usually I find that unlit works best. If you do default lit, then it's going to use whatever lighting is in the scene to light the plane, which can sometimes look a bit unnatural. Okay, so it's it, it looks completely black, and that's it won't usually do that. It's just doing that because this particular project file, the lighting is set up in a way which requires a lot of light. Um, so you're going to have to boost the brightness. In this case, it's going to be really high. So just keep changing it until it looks like it fits with the lighting of the scene. In most projects, you won't need to go this high. It'll just be somewhere between 0 and 1. So that looks more or less right, but you can just keep playing around with it until it looks right. And that's about it. So I'll leave the links below and you can create your own scene of this girl spying on her neighbors or you can create your own green screen and put yourself in any environment really. Thanks for watching.